Hey guys, welcome back to Little Creek Gaming. This is Formula One 2021. Been really, really looking forward to this for quite some time. We're going to take a look at the character models, a quick uh, time trial in Monaco, and a short five lap race in Azerbaijan. But first, let's take a look at the cars. Now here we are with the liveries. Now the liveries this year are really, really good. Lots of minor changes and a few big ones. Now one of the big ones that is a bit of a shame to be honest is Renault. Renault has now become Alpine Racing. And I'm really, really gonna miss that yellow and black car. It's, uh, it was one of my favorites. And there's Alpine Racing, which you can see on the screen. Now I do like that Alpine livery, but I'm gonna miss the old one. Uh, for me, the worst livery is definitely Haas. Now I actually really like the Haas livery of previous seasons, the red, white, and black. This livery, however, is really bland. It's like looking at a blank sheet of paper. There's just nothing there. In, in my opinion, I just, I don't like it. And now we come to the character models. Now the character models, as you can see, look absolutely stunning. The most realistic I've ever seen uh, in Formula One. Really, really good, check them out. Okay, so here I am with my very first drive on Formula One 2021, a time trial of Monaco using the Williams. Now, the Williams is a car that I use quite a lot in 2020. I have a lot of affection for the car, so I wanted this to be the first car I used. This car, <coughs> this year, sorry, feels a lot different to the car from last year. So as I'm driving around the track on my first attempt here, I'm sort of figuring it out as I'm going along and getting a feel for it. It's, it's turn ratio and everything else feels a lot different and also the sounds it sounds much more uh, it sounds it sounds way better than last year especially when you've got headphones on or you've got the volume cranked right up you can really feel it um, now I've put maximum downforce on the car because I want to get through this in one piece as you know Monaco is a very difficult track and I'm not looking to set the world on fire with the greatest time of, of all time I just want to get through it alive so I put maximum downforce on the car. Now, I just want to point out that this corner here, this left, is my least favorite part of the track, believe it or not. Now, I've been caught out by every single corner on this track at some point, but that's the one that always gets me the most. I can't tell you how many times in a, in a tournament setting with the guys, that's cost me a lot of wings, that, that, that left. For some reason, it's, the, it's my least favorite one, strangely. And now, as we head down to the straight, I think I get a 115, if I remember correctly. Yes, 115, which is decent. Uh, that put me like 980th in the world, so not bad. And here we go with the quick five lap sprint race at Azerbaijan. Interestingly, if you look at the um, the red ball here, there's, there's sort of running out of advertisement space. You know, I, I know every car is basically real estate for advertisements, but they're sort of running out of room here, aren't they? If you think about it. So, new features, we have a new story mode called breaking point um, but apparently it's very very good it's got a good response so far and when I get through that I will probably put a highlights package video on the channel and interestingly a two-player career mode you and a friend online can go through the career mode together either as teammates or on opposite teams hint hint mark um, all in all I gotta say I was very very concerned about Formula 1 2021 as Mark fantastic was as well drive, about EA basically they're like the Disney of the gaming world they're just buying up everything at the minute we was really concerned about what EA would do to this now right at the beginning of the game you get the you know the traditional EA sports is in the game thing but in all the hours I've been uh, I've spent with the game I've not seen any evidence of EA now either EA decided to leave the game alone and just let Codemasters carry on doing their thing or Codemasters had already developed the game up to a point before EA sort of bought them and this is the game we would have gotten anyway I, I've got a feeling though and I'm gonna make a prediction here I've got a feeling that maybe next year 2022 is the year that we may see EA uh, tampering with the game a bit more um, hopefully not so this game thank God is, is really really good and, um, and I want to put more of this game up on the channel real soon so thank you very much for watching I'll catch you guys next time